vloggers, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to insert GIFs into your YouTube videos. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that in both iMovie and Final Cut Pro. Now, the main program that we are going to be using is QuickTime Player, though. I'll show you how to insert it into Final Cut Pro, but the big thing that you guys need to do is use QuickTime Player. I use QuickTime Player a lot. <laughs> Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to insert a GIF into your YouTube video. So I'm just going to show you an example of some GIFs that I put into this video for my vegan holiday treats taste test. But the only good thing is Christmas. That is the only thing that gets me through the winter. So there is the elf that, one. All good for you. Taylor I Swift. I should do a video on seasonal affective disorder. So those are just some examples for you. Okay, now we're going to go into Final Cut Pro so I can show you guys. Now here's what it looks like in Final Cut Pro. So we have the GIF here, we have a pop sound here, and I put a border on it as well, and I'll show you guys how I do with the border. So that's just kind of an example of what you would see in Final Cut Pro. So what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to copy a video, it doesn't really matter. File, new, project, just test, GIF test. Paste it here. So just so we have some video, I'm going to turn the sound off. Just so we have a video here and we can insert some GIFs. So we're going to minimize Final Cut Pro. Open up Safari. And then we're going to go find us a GIF. <laughs> Let's do that one. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to QuickTime Player file. Now right here you would have to go to new screen recording but because I'm doing a screen recording right now I can't click it. So all you would do is hit new screen recording, click the red button that pops up, and then click on the screen. And when you click on the screen what you're going to do is you're going to click and grab just so you have like this like little line that goes around. It allows you to like minimize, like lower it and whatnot. So you're going to do like a little box around this. And then you're going to press start. Once it starts, it's going to record Miss Taylor Swift going, I'm insane. And then you're going to click the stop button up here whenever you're done. And that will get you the GIF. Okay, so I recorded the GIF with QuickTime Player. So this is what it looks like in QuickTime Player. Because I was able to crop around the actual GIF itself. And you want to make sure that you crop it perfectly too, like there's no outer lines, like you just want the GIF itself. So whenever you are kind of, uh, what do you call it? Kind of grabbing the clip, just grab right inside of the GIF, record it, and then save it. Now we're going to go back into Final Cut Pro. And then we're going to grab the I'm Insane GIF from our desktop and drag it on top of the video clip. So as you can see, it's wider than the clip, and I gotta make it smaller. So we're gonna transform it. Click this button here so it's that little square. And then we're gonna make it smaller. Put it here. Then we're gonna go to this button right here called Show or Hide the Effects Browser, and we're gonna type in Simple. Click Simple Border drag it and throw it right on top of the I'm Insane GIF. We're going to go to the border color and we're going to change it to pink. And then there's that. So that's pretty much how you get the GIF in. But if you want to add the sound effect, uh, you would also go here. I'm under iMovie sound effects. I'm going to type in cork, bottle cork, drop it right over the beginning and then Just a quick review of the Final Cut Pro part, you would have to grab your GIF off of your desktop, drag and drop it onto your video, then you have to transform it. So you would just hit this transform button and then you can expand it or make it smaller. You would go to this little button right here for the effects and you would put in a simple 
to bring up simple border. You would highlight it, drop it on to the GIF. Then to add a sound effect, you go to iMovie Sounds, type in cork, and then just drag and drop bottle cork right on top of the GIF, and I do that right at the beginning. So there you go. That's how you add a GIF in Final Cut Pro. Now let's say you wanted to add it in iMovie. So we're going to minimize Final Cut Pro. We're going to go to iMovie. And we'll just throw in this video right here. Minimize the sound. Go up a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to grab I'm Insane GIF, drag and drop. I'm going to do picture and picture, so you're going to go to this button here. Do picture and picture. You're going to expand. You can change the border color. Will it let me? Doesn't look like it's letting me. Okay, and then we're going to click formation. Now it looks like it still has that white border around, but whatever. There we go. There we go. Now it's good. So like I said, you drag and drop the GIF onto on top of your video. So like I said, you grab the GIF from your desktop, drag it and drop it on top of your video. You're going to come up here to video overlay settings, do picture in picture, and you can adjust the border if you would like and pick the color that you want. And then you're good to go. Now, if you want to add the sound like I had in Final Cut Pro, to go to audio, search cork, bottle cork, drag and drop, start. Oh, did I lose it? Oh no, it went to the bottom. There you see, there it is. Let me move it over a little bit on. I think it's right on top of it. Okay, and then we go. And that's all you have to do to add a GIF into iMovie. All right, so that's all you guys have to do to add a GIF into your videos. Um, whether it's in iMovie, Final Cut Pro, you first got to start with QuickTime Player to record the GIF in Safari. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop that clip into iMovie and Final Cut Pro and then follow the steps that I showed you guys. So hopefully it's not too hard. Hopefully you guys are able to figure it out. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me down in the comments. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Click that little bell so that you get notified of when my videos have been posted. Like this video if you've liked it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! And I am doing a green screen for my health and fitness channel just because I want to be able to insert a gym background because otherwise I'd have a really boring like apartment background and I really wanted it to be gym-esque. So that is what I'm doing. Hopefully it works out. I haven't edited a video yet. So who knows all of the work that I did this weekend could have been from nothing. I did do test shots though where I filmed me kind of just sitting there talking for a second and then I